Sup guys, in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to get shot. You clicked on this video, yes, we're making turrets. So, to make a turret, you click on the entity tool, place it in your level, and then double click on it. Type in turret because, of, of course, it's not going to be called, you know, baguette. So, uh, what you actually want is NPC portal turret floor, not NPC turret floor, because um, if you do that, uh, yes, you can see here I have caused a glitch in the valve matrix. So don't do that. Uh, change it to, yeah, remember, NPC to portal turret floor. If you double click on it, there's not many settings you really need to change, but I'm going to show you ones that you you can use that are particularly useful. First of all, yeah, of course you got to give your turret a name. Like you can't just leave it nameless. I'm gonna call mine Susan. You can change the skin. Uh, I think there are about four, uh, three or four. Uh, one. Skin one is quite cool, and I think the rest are just the turret, but gel on top. Uh, I'd, usually I'd leave it at zero, which is fine. Uh, you can set if the turret is gagged. It's a bit of an intense description. All it's really doing is uh, um, just turning off the voice lines. You can also uh, disable picking it up. You can disable motion, which is pretty much the same. You can change the range when the turret detects the player. I just leave it the same, really. Now, load defective models. You can technically make defective turrets in game, but there's a little bit of a problem with it. Load defective models, so that's yes, but that's really not the only thing you do. It won't change anything. What you actually have to do is change the model to skeleton, and then uh, click on flags, and then click on uh, out of ammo, and that should work, although let's just duplicate this and of course we've got to see the normal turret as well i'm going to call this um a blimble and then that's basically it you're, you're done boom you see we're here uh we have a defective turret this is very loud this can shoot me it's a bit slow so let's just um this is it does very much look like a detective uh, so this very much does look like a defective turret, but uh, I don't know what it's doing. It's kind of being annoying. It's, it's not speaking to me at the moment. I don't think it likes me very much, but if you do hear it speak, it will probably just stick with the same voice lines as a regular turret, which is a bit odd. I don't know why it's doing that. I think you might have to like manually like trigger it to do um, the, the defective turret voice lines, but right now it's not working at the moment. But I think we heard it earlier. So yeah, that's that's the best I can do, I'm afraid. Uh, you're just gonna have to look into that to figure out how to make these damn things. But yeah, that's how to create turrets. It's really that easy. That's the only easy thing and hammer. Everything else is uh, a pain in the ass. Now, another entity that is probably just as easy to create as turrets. This is not really more of a puzzle mechanic and more just like a cool set piece you can have. Uh, cameras, you can have cameras and they're very easy to create. So if you just type in camera, uh, NPC security camera, that's the one you want. And then you can basically just position it up against the wall. There you go. And it should be working. Yeah. Okay, so make sure auto start is checked. So yeah, let's let's run the map and then see what happens. And boom, if we spawn in game, you can see the camera is working because it's pointing at me at the moment. And it's gonna watch me um, end my life. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Next, next, next episode. Probably, maybe. Goodbye.